Notepad notation is how fighting game players talk about everything their character does. Movement, attacks, specials, defensive options, a mystery called an oh. combos, and all other aspects of fighting games. Notepad notation can be extremely confusing to new players, but it's not so bad once you get used to it. I'm gonna teach you in about five minutes how to learn numpad notation. Take a look at a standard numpad on a keyboard. On it, there are nine buttons. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, and one, two, three. I want you to not read this as a row and instead look at it like a D-pad. If we press six, it is like pressing forward on the D-pad. Four is like pressing back. Two is like pressing down, and eight is like pressing up. The diagonals correspond directly to the diagonals of the D-pad. One is down back, three is down forward, seven is up back, and nine is up forward. Note that numpad notation always assumes your character is on the left facing right. If you were on the right facing left, the labels on the D-pad would be flipped. So six is always forward, four is always back, Two stays down, eight stays up, one is still down back, three is still down forward, seven is still up back, and nine is still up forward. Moves. Every game has different letters to represent attacks. In Strive, it's P, K, S, H, and D. In DBFC, it's L, M, H, or S. In Melty Blood, it's A, B, C, or D. Check the dust loop for your specific game to know your specific buttons. You can combine these numbers with letters to get a move name. For example, 2S is down plus S, or crouching S. 6M is 6 plus M, or forward M. 5P is neutral P, so not holding a direction and pressing P. 3C is down forward plus C, 4MP is back plus MP, 2D is down plus D, and so on and so on. You may see J, then a period, before a move name. This indicates that it is an aerial normal, or jumping normal. When we talk about jumping normals, you will see the 5 omitted from neutral inputs. So JS is jumping 5S. Note that not all jumping normals are neutral. For example, Narukami has a J2B, or a 2B you perform while jumping. Specials. You can combine multiple numbers with a letter to form motions that perform special moves. Say you want to throw a fireball. The motion for this is 2, 3, 6, S. That's down, down forward, forward, plus the S button. This is a fireball motion, a quarter circle forward. If you saw 2, 1, 4, S, that would be down, then down back, then 4, then S. You can theoretically combine any amount of numbers and letters to get inputs, but most often you will see the following. 236, 214, 623, or a DP motion, 22, 63214, or your supers, 236, 236, 214, 214, and 632146. You may also see 360 or 720, usually referring to grapplers. 360 is one rotation, and 720 is two rotations. Other notation. A caret or greater than sign denotes where one move ends and another begins. It is there mostly to make combos more readable. 6-6 six, six represents a forward dash, and 4-4 four, four represents a backdash. JC means jump cancel, and SJC means super jump cancel. An example of a combo with a JC in it would be 2M, 5M, JC, JM. CH at the beginning of a combo means counter hit, and represents if the combo is counter hit only. IED means instant air dash, or inputting an air dash immediately after leaving the ground. This is usually input as 9-6 or 8-6-6. Six, six. Square brackets surrounding a number or a button indicates a charge. So if you see 4-6-S with May, that's hold 4, then 6 plus S to get S-Dolphin. 
You may also see this with brackets around the button instead of the direction. This indicates holding the button for chargeable attacks. If you see square brackets opposite the button, that indicates that you must release the button to perform the attack. For example, Arakune and Blazeblue can do release A, B, C, or D to attack with bugs while the opponent is cursed. A tilde represents a plink or care cancel. The finer mechanics of plinks and care cancels are out of scope for this video, but in general, a tilde indicates that a button must be pressed almost immediately after another button. For example, Potemkin can care cancel his 6k into Potemkin Buster by inputting 63214 6kp. Parentheses around a number indicates the amount of hits that should connect on a multi-hit move. For example, JL parentheses 2 with Gotenks indicates that two hits of Gotenks JL should connect instead of the full three. If you see a button surrounded by parentheses, such as 5AXN, this means to repeat a button n times, where n is as many times as hit thumb decay or distance will allow. You may also see parentheses around an entire sequence of buttons, like 2MIDJ4LL5MX3. This is used when characters loop a specific sequence a specific number of times. This list is not meant to be all-inclusive. Some characters in games have special notation, and some games themselves have special or unique notation. If there's anything not listed here, make sure to check the dust loop page for your game or your character. Next steps. Numpad notation is not hard once you get used to it, but it can be quite overwhelming at first. To help with this, I've included a PDF in the description, which you can download and reference as you play. If you're looking for a clear next step, go to Dustloop and lab your specific character, taking the time to use the numpad notation reference. It will be slow and confusing at first, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, please subscribe and like the video. I will be releasing more fighting game guides periodically alongside gameplay videos. I will also do my best to answer any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and good luck gaming.